All right, we're going to jump into our lesson for today. We are focusing on converting units of measurement using the customary system. Yesterday, we looked at length, inches, feet, yards, and miles. Today, we're going to be looking at weight. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna bring up that slide that we had from Monday, just looking at the different units of measurement within the customary units. And we're gonna be talking today right here about weight. So we're gonna use ounces, pounds, and tons as our units of measurement. This slide is gonna help you guys understand the weight of each of these units of measurement. So when you think of an ounce, I want you to think of maybe a slice of bread or a pencil. Think about how heavy uh, 20 paper clips would be, roughly. That's one ounce, so it's a very light weight. Moving into pounds, that's our second unit. That's gonna be how, about how heavy a baseball is. Whoa, go back. Or a, a stick of butter. We'll use pounds to weigh uh, people and pets, like a dog. So a dog won't tip, weigh one pound, but we use pounds to weigh it. And then a ton, that's our biggest unit of measurement with when we talk about weight. So when we talk tons, we're talking um, weighing cars or school buses or whales, okay? That's how much tons are, much, much bigger. Ounces is the smallest, tons are the biggest. So our conversion chart for weight looks a lot simpler than our conversion chart for length. All we have to know is that there are 16 ounces in a pound and there are 2,000 pounds in a ton. That's it. 16 ounces in a pound, 2,000 pounds in a ton. Again, there's no real relationship between those numbers, nor is there a relationship between those numbers and the numbers we saw with length. There's no pattern, no similarity. We're just going to have to be multiplying and dividing. So let's get to it. We have 12 pounds and we want to convert that into ounces. We're going from pounds to ounces. Looking over here at our conversion chart, we see that it takes 16 ounces to make one pound. So pound is bigger. So we're going from pound to ounces, big to small. Multiply them all. We're gonna take our 12 pounds and what are we gonna multiply by? We are gonna multiply by 16 because 16 ounces makes up one pound. All right, so we've got 12 times 16. Here we go, six times two is 12, carry the one. Six times one is six, plus one is seven. Then we say zero and cross out, mm-hmm, zero and cross out, keep going. One times two is two, one times one is one. Then we say add them up, 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 add them up, 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 add them up, 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 we're on fire. Two plus zero is two, seven plus two is seven, eight, nine. One plus nothing is one. So we got an answer of 192. Therefore, we know that there are 192 ounces in 12 pounds. If you wanna see that visually, Here's our 12 pounds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, is that 11? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, no, it's 12, ha <laughs> ha. All right, so there's one pound, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds, eight pounds, nine pounds, 10 pounds, 11 pounds, and 12 pounds. Inside of each of these pounds, there are 16 ounces. So we would put 16 inside each of our pounds. We can see the repetitive ofness. It's a repeated, multi or repeated addition problem, which we know is multiplication. So we're multiplying 16, 12 times because there are 12 pounds. So that's why we did the multiplication problem. Okay. Now, this one's looking a little bit different, right? We might say to ourselves, oh, okay, we're going from pounds to ounces again. So that's big to small, multiply them all. Except wait, do we know how many pounds we have? No, we know how many ounces we have. 
So even though it's written big to small, we're not going big to small. We're going small to big. Divide that pig. So be careful. It's not about the way that it's written. It's about how we're converting. In this case, we're converting 160 ounces into pounds. We're going from ounces to pounds, small to big. So we're going to take 160 and we're going to divide. How many ounces are in a pound? 16 ounces are in a pound, so we're going to divide by 16. Now, some of you right away can see a relationship between 160 and 16. Those digits are just up one place value. So we know that because we are powers or base 10 number system, that 160, that's 10 times bigger than 16. And so you might know right away that the answer is 10. If not, we have to set ourselves up with a division problem. How many times can 16 go into 160? It cannot go into one. Subtract and you get one. Bring down the six. 16 can go into 16 one time. So oops, subtract and you get zero. Bring down the zero. 16 can go into zero, zero times. Solve it out. Either way, we get 10 pounds is the same thing as 160 ounces. So be careful, read it correctly. All right, this one says five pounds equals how many ounces? So let's get to it. All right, I'm going from pounds to ounces. I'm going from big to small. Multiply them all. We're going to take our five pounds and we're going to multiply it by how many ounces are in a pound, which is 16. Five times 16. I'm going to write the 16 first because I'd rather just multiply by one digit than two. Five times six is 30. Five times one is five plus three, five, six, seven, eight. Gives me an answer of 80. Are you starting to catch on? It's not too bad, is it? All right, let's move on to the next one. This one says, how many pounds are in two tons? So we've got pounds and tons. We know that there are 2,000 pounds in one ton. So ton is the big value or the big unit. So are we going small to big? No, we're going big to small because we have two tons. We're trying to convert it into pounds. We're going big to small, multiply it all. We're going to take our two pound or two tons, excuse me, and we're going to multiply it by how many pounds are in one ton, which is 2,000. Now, hopefully you can do this in your head using mental math, but if not, I'll write it out for you. We're going to do 2,000 times 2. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. 4,000 pounds is equivalent to 2 tons. All right, I think we have one more. We're going from eight tons, how many ounces? We're going from tons to ounces, that's big to small. Multiply them all. We're gonna take eight and we're gonna multiply it. But what are we gonna multiply by? Because here's my tons and here's my ounces. I don't have a conversion of, to tell me how many ounces are in a ton. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. And I'm gonna have to figure that out by using these values here. If I know 16 ounces are in one pound and there's 2,000 pounds in a ton, I can multiply these two numbers together to get how many ounces are in a ton. 2,000 times 16. Here we go. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 2 is 12. Then we say 0 and cross out. Mm-hmm. 0 and cross out. Keep going. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2. Then we say add them up, up, up. Add them up, up, up. Add them up, up, up. We're on fire. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0, plus zero, is zero. 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So I know that in one ton there are 2,000 pounds and there are also... 32,000 ounces. So I'm going to now multiply eight tons by that 32,000 ounces. Now, I could set up this extremely long problem right here and I could solve it out. Eight times zero is zero, eight times zero is zero, eight times zero is zero, eight times two is 16, carry the one. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 1 is 25. Now, let me show you a slightly faster way to do that. 
I could simply take out those three zeros, do 32 times 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24 plus 1 is 25. And then add those three zeros back in. Either way, I get the same answer. So if you want to work smarter, not harder, take the zeros out and put them back in. Either way, we have figured out that 8 tons is equivalent to 256,000 ounces. And that's a pretty big number. All right, I have put onto the blog underneath this video uh, a video link to Number Rocks. So if you want to jam out to a little song, feel free to watch it on your own. We're not going to watch it right now, though. All right, it's time to get to your practice problems for today. Oops. Okay, there you go. That's a better look. So it's time for us to move on to our daily practice. So for this daily practice, you guys have a choice. I have a level one um, practice page and I have a level two practice page. So depending on how you're feeling after watching the video and after what we did on Monday, choose the level that works for you, okay? There are um, a lot of problems on here. There's 20 problems. You don't have to do all 20 unless you just want to. For some of you, it's going to go like this. Challenge yourself to do all 20. For others of you, just do 10 of them. Just do five of them. It's really up to you. Remember, I'm not taking this for a grade. It's to help you practice. So choose the level and go through and work through the problems that you want to work through. When you're ready, check your answers using the answer key. Refer back to this video for any help. If you're still confused on anything, join me tomorrow at my Zoom session at 9.30 in the morning, and you can ask me your questions. When you are feeling confident, I want you to hop onto USA Test Prep and begin the assignment for Tuesday. Thanks for watching, guys.